Hey everyone, it's Mari. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel today. I have a fun little card making process for you and I am going to be starting out here with some Salty Ocean Distress Oxide ink and I'm going to just apply this ink across a stencil and the stencil is a Cardabella stencil called Snowflake Swirls and I'm just going to take my distressing tool here and you'll just see me um, rubbing some of this ink onto the background of my card. So my card is um, going to be an A2 size card and I'm working on some Bristol Smooth cardstock here and I'm actually going to end up using a die on this uh, piece of paper that I stencil onto and cut it out into a smaller piece um, but you'll see that as the process um, moves forward here. So I'm just going to take and press this ink down through that stencil and this is a really really simple process but it really does have quite a nice impact when it's all finished and it's always so much fun right to uh, use your stencil and then take that stencil off and reveal the fun uh, ink work that you've got underneath and the impression that it leaves in it, it I just love how this turns out it's a really really simple way to create a piece for your card whether it's your entire card front or in this case um, kind of like a little focal area for me to create and build the little uh, rest of the little scene that I'm going to be working on here for my card front. So you can see that I'm just about done here. I'm just going to line that back up again. And I just took my micro pore tape off of the bottom that I had used to hold my cardstock down. I'm just going to line that up, um, which is super easy to do with this bright color, and just continue to ink up the rest of those different swirly snowflake areas. And I'm going to be creating a card that has a bunch of hot cocoa and coffee on it. And I just thought that swirly, snowy background was perfect for um, the little sentiment that I'm putting on my card. So what I'm going to be working with here is the Newton's Nook um, stamp set called Cup of Cocoa. And this is a really adorable little stamp set. And I just stamped those out with some Copic Friendly ink. And I think I used my favorite things extreme black ink for this. Now, unfortunately, sometimes what happens with my iPad when I'm videotaping is I think I've pressed the button, but it's so sensitive that I maybe press it twice and don't realize it. And I thought I was recording my Copic coloring, um, but I didn't. So what I did was I just listed there all of the Copic colors that I used. And I didn't do a ton of coloring here anyways. It didn't take me very long to do. And it's just really simple coloring. Um, if you've ever watched anybody Copa color before, it's just a really, really basic process that I used here. So now that I have got the Copa coloring done of those images, what I did was I took the um, Newton's Nook Frames and Flags die cut set and I just took the stitched rectangle rectangle die from that set and I cut out that stenciled piece from the beginning of the video and I just took a little bit of craft foam and adhered it to the back of that just to pop this up a little bit on my card front. I'm just taking a little bit of Nouveau liquid adhesive to adhere that craft foam to my card front and that is going to be where I am going to build my little scene with my little cups. So these cups I just cut out with the, die, uh, the coordinating die set from the uh, Cup of Cocoa stamp set and I've cut out all of my five little cups here which are totally adorable. I love this little stamp set. It is so cute and all these little cups of cocoa and coffee and I just really love them. I think they're super adorable. And I'm just going to put the two at the back flat and then the three cups in the front. I'm going to pop up on some foam adhesive and just to give them a little more dimension on the front of my card. So you'll just see me use a little bit of, I'm using Stampin' Up! Foam, uh, dimensional foam adhesive here. Some of my favorite small foam adhesive. I really love it. It's super easy to work with. And so now I've got those all stuck down there. And what I decided I wanted to do was um, add some uh, a little sentiment to my card front as well. 
and I'm also going to add a little bit of Wink of Stella here as also to my little cups. So this is some clear Wink of Stella and it just adds a really nice bit of sparkle to my little cups and you'll just see me adding that to all of the little areas that are visible um, to the top of the card. It's just going to go in all those little areas and create that sparkle with that pen. And this is super easy to use. Just takes a minute to do this and it really does have a big impact on your card because it really just makes it shiny and pretty. And who doesn't love a little bit of glitter, right? Uh, so now I'm just taking my Sakura white jelly roll pen and I'm just going to add a few little white polka dot details to each of the top cups. So the little heart on the one cup and the large blue circles in the center cup and then the little snowflake area around the snowman on that cup on the left. <clears throat> now what I did to add the sentiment to the card was I took a piece of Lawn Fawn Narwhal cardstock and I'm going to take one of the sentiments from the Cup of Cocoa set that says Hug in a Mug and I'm going to stamp out that sentiment onto some narwhal cardstock using some Versamark ink. And so you'll just see me to start that process here. So I've got that Versamark ink stamped out using that sentiment, Hug in a Mug. And I've just taken some Nouveau um, fine detail embossing powder in white and that's what I'm going to use to emboss my sentiment here. That is really amazing embossing powder by the way. It's some of my favorite. I bought that this fall and I've used it quite a bit and I really really like it. It's just it works really well. It covers really well. Um, yeah it's it's a good one. It's I think it's my favorite white embossing powder right now. Um, so I just have, uh, applied that and then I'm going to heat that up and that will finish the sentiment and then I'm just going to take uh, my favorite things hearts in a row uh, die and cut that out as a heart and I'm going to adhere it to the front of my card and that is going to be it and right away here you're going to see my finished card. I end up tying a little bit of baker's twine to the side of my card to finish it off and you'll see that in the still shots at the end. Thanks so much for joining me today guys. Have an amazing day and I'll see you another time. Bye bye.